I'm William Wells and I'm a social media coach and speaker. This originally was a five minute presentation done with a bi uh, for a business group that I belong to. However, I decided to go ahead and put it online for those that missed it. Uh, as a speaker, I'm a keynote speaker and I do motivational speaking. I do seminars as well as workshops and breakout sessions. Now the question I'm asked is what's a social media coach? One of my biggest frustrations is when I hear a business owner say, you know, I let my 15-year-old set up my Facebook page because he's on there all the time and he knew how to do it. Or I let my niece set up my Twitter account because she's going to college for some sort of computer stuff and you know, she understands all this. I don't. Would you let your 15-year-old handle your business finances because he can operate an ATM? Or would you let your niece handle your legal affairs because she knows every episode of Law & Order? Obviously not. Uh, what started out as toys and hobbies have now become sophisticated business marketing tools. I hold your hand and walk you through the steps, helping you understand how to use these tools effectively and successfully. And the first step is an evaluation. I have a 48 point report card. We sit down, go over, you know, what are you doing? What are you not doing? Uh, we tally up the score and that's a starting point. From there we get into some education. Without understanding what these tools are intended to do for you and your business, not how you see others using them uh, or how you, uh, you know, watch other businesses similar to your own use them, but how they should be used for you in your business, you're really not even going to know where to start. And from there, we develop a strategy. Without a strategy, your social media efforts are going to fail. Uh, and this takes patience. Uh, as far as this business networking group, you know, how many meetings have you been to uh, before you're actually able to provide somebody with a lead uh, or, or uh, a referral? Um, you know, it takes time, it takes patience, baby steps. You know, what are you going to do this week, next week, next month, six months from now? And then I monitor this. Uh, and once a month we sit down and we go over, you know, what's happening, what's not happening. We look at some statistics and we use that to help refine the strategy. Obviously we're familiar with the names of the tools today. They're thrown around, uh, you know, uh, so often. Facebook and Twitter and YouTube, blogs. Uh, then you have LinkedIn, Foursquare, Google Plus, QR codes. Uh, you know, there's many more. Now add into the mix uh, content curation like paper.li and scoop it and more recently Pinterest you know it becomes overwhelming where do you start how do you connect to the right people uh, that's what I help you understand and do now social media for your business it, it's not the answer to your business woes however trying to do business today without using social media is kind of like trying to do business without uh, a phone or email in fact uh, we heard last week at the meeting you know email use has dropped significantly uh, as more and more consumers are turning to these methods to do the majority of their communication uh, now the one thing I can't stress enough is that these are not advertising tools you know how many of you are going to go home after a hard day of work, sit in your favorite chair, grab the remote, and tune in to the 24-7, 365 day commercial channel. You're not. In fact, we TiVo through most of the commercials today when we have the opportunity, don't we? Uh, and I see businesses doing it all the time. You know, advertisement after promotion, after, you know, like this, and we'll do this for you. Uh, Realtors are notorious for using social media ineffectively. You know, nothing but listing after listing after price reduction. Uh, you need to engage uh, your followers. It's the fastest way to lose followers is to just advertise yourself and promote yourself. They're going to shut you off. Uh, you need to engage us. Uh, these tools are intended to help develop and nourish relationships. They're for PR and brand development and to help enhance your online reputation. Uh, in some cases, they're better served as customer service tools. And in all cases, they go a long way when it comes to helping you with your search engine visibility. With every single one of these tools, when you fill out the fields correctly with the proper search engine optimization uh, techniques, every single one of these will find a home in the search engines. Uh, you know, helping you now with your online visibility where maybe your website's, you know, not cutting it for you anymore. Back in the early days, 93, 94, when I was doing web development, it was very common for business owners to, you know, say, well, I don't use a computer or, you know, I don't get the internet or email. That really doesn't matter. Your follower, or, or, or your audience, I should say, is. Uh, your potential customers and clients are. And the longer you dig in your heels and refuse to embrace what's going around, going on around you, uh, the further behind you're going to get. Uh, at the moment, there's over 800 million active Facebook users. There's over 300 million active 
uh, Twitter users, with an estimated 500,000 being added per day. Uh, LinkedIn has over 135 million profiles, and Foursquare has over 15 million active users. These are separate audiences. Sure, there's a little overlap, but these numbers are significant. For example, 51% of Facebook users are more likely to do business with those that they're connected with. 64% of Twitter followers more likely to do business with those that they're connected it with. Uh, and these tools, this is a quote from a, a, a friend of mine that I've, I've had over the last year. We met you know, through social media. Uh, he recently wrote a book. Uh, but, but one of the quotes that, that he uh, recently had in one of his articles is, you know, these tools aren't about you and what you like. It's about them and business. And that is absolutely correct. Uh, you know, I hear it all the time. Well, you know, I like Facebook or I don't understand Twitter or I only use, you know, this tool over here. Uh, you know, you can have a set of tires in your garage. That doesn't mean you have a car. Uh, there's many pieces that, when they're put together, uh, create that vehicle that you can get in and drive from point A to point B. I help you take uh, these individual social networking tools and put them together to help build that marketing vehicle that you can get in and drive. I'm William Wells, and I'm a social media coach and speaker.